Hola, mi amigos y mi amigas. Mi me llamo Chad. Welcome to Colorado Giants. Thanks for tuning in. It is uh, Tuesday, June 28th. It's time for your weekly update. Got a handful of things to talk about. Nothing too earth-shattering, mind-blowing, or anything like that. But uh, it is indeed time for an update, so stay tuned. It has been a pretty good week. Uh, a lot of a uh, lot of you know really good plant growth that I that I'm quite pleased about. Uh, did take some time and I made a few uh, videos, the pollination video for that pumpkin and the uh, fertilization video. Hopefully you guys uh, get a chance to watch those. Those are more advanced. Well, the, the fertilizer video is more advanced and we talk about how to water, how much is enough water, how to fertilize, how I fertilize, how I've been taught to fertilize from uh, people like uh, Mike Schmidt and, and Don Barron. Uh, those are phenomenal growers. So if I can try to emulate them, then I think I'm in doing a pretty okay myself, if I do say so myself. Um, but enough jibber jabber. Let's just get to a good old basic overview of what we got going on this week. <clears throat> the only thing that I did not accomplish yet, it's about seven o'clock, so I'll probably have time to do one and a half ish plants is vineberry. But, uh, man, I got to tell you, I, I'm really happy with where I am for the year. Uh, I have, I weeded that the other day. So that whole section is gone. I did just a little minor weeding everywhere else. And uh, the only place that there's some weeds is underneath there. And I'm probably just going to hit that with Roundup because, uh, just because. It's, it's difficult to weed in there underneath my wet wall. And I have my header line right there. So I'll uh, round up that. And then the, the pumpkin patch is, is like 99% weed free past that, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that's really cool is I was telling uh, Brad, who came over earlier today, it was really good to meet him, a local grower who's uh, expect some big things from in the coming years, is uh, is just like I don't have any projects going on. This time last year, I was still putting down soaker lines. But, uh, you know, we are not even in July yet, and everything is done. Knock on wood, you know, like my irrigation system is done, my misting system is done. The drip tape is out, so the only thing that I have to spend time on is paying attention to the plants, and I think that is is huge. Uh, and uh, you know, no matter what type of system you have, I think that the more time you're able to spend with your plants and just be in tune with their needs, just like a woman, the better you're gonna do. <clears throat> and if you are a woman, maybe just like your man, you know, the happier you will make him because you realize, uh, you know what his uh, nuances are and what he wants. Anywho, enough about that. The uh, 2350 Ginger is looking really good, just in case you missed it. I want to say we pollinated this guy on... Uh, what's today? Today is Tuesday, so... Crumbs, Sunday. So, 28th, so that was the 26th. We pollinated that one. Beautiful six lobe pumpkin and called it a five lobe on the video. I was still sleeping, but that is a six lober all day long. Uh, perfect, perfect uh, flower. Uh, I wish the plant was a smidgen bigger, but this is still bigger than my plant was last year when I was pollinating. So I still think that uh, it could do big things. I'm not, I'm not so concerned about it that I'm going to skip that pumpkin and wait for the next one. The 26 or the 2365 rather wolf is uh, doing really good. I, I'm really liking this plant. I'm really liking the vine pattern. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. The plant looks a little smaller, but it's actually I think I don't know. It's it's at least as big as that. It, it feels like it's bigger than this one with everything folding back. I feel like the vines are a little bit bigger. That pumpkin in there, I still, uh, I've left it, but, you know, I, I haven't even pulled off the flower around it. I don't trust it. I do need to, I will pull off that flower. Uh, I still, I just don't trust that pumpkin that it's pollinated 
and I'm going to go with this one. Uh, where'd it go? This one right there. So uh, that one is probably, if we're on Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, that's a Friday, Saturday ish pumpkin, very early July pollination, which I think is still fine because if we have uh, <clears throat> all of. Uh, all of August, or all of July, all of August, all of September, that's still 90, and then a little bit of August, we're at 100 days, oops, I stepped on my pumpkin patch, but the funny thing is, is again, you know, that pumpkin, if we look straight up, is right here, almost where it starts to go down, so that pumpkin better knock on wood, hopefully it takes, because uh, I am, I am out of room, I will be out of room if that one for main vine is is going to be in my keeper otherwise i'll be running a uh, a secondary vine over here or something and, and setting a pumpkin or shoot maybe i'll even drag the main vine over here and and try but uh later in the week we'll get that one squared away a little bit of a late pollination but a lot earlier than i used to do them and i think it'll just be fine and then the uh 1676 new probably my my favorite plant of the year just because it's it's in the hottest spot zoom out it's in the hottest spot um it gets the least amount of mist but even with that being said it's it's really knock on wood heat tolerant um areas that don't get missed i'm not seeing a whole lot of leaf burn i mean there is the oddball um spot that has leaf burn but but not really uh this pumpkin in here is 10 days old it's about the size of i don't know it's about the size of maybe a small cantaloupe but that color looks pretty great <clears throat> um i had wanted to put my growing boards under it today but just kind of ran out of time and the kids were kids were being a little a little extra rambunctious so maybe I'll try and uh, get the missus to help me with that on tomorrow if I can come home for lunch or something I can have her help me slide the boards underneath there because here pretty soon it'll it'll want to grow and it's never fun moving them when they get to be any sort of size to them and then this uh, this one, the plant is probably two and a half, three feet away from where, you know, I'll stop the growth of the plant. And, uh, you know, maybe 10 to 15 days before we see the plant kind of stop growing and a lot of uh, that uh, energy shift specifically towards the pumpkin. And that's when we really see a lot of uh, pumpkin growth from day 20 to day 100. Day 110, or if you're, you know, the, the bearded wizard, Mike, you know, uh, day 100 and, shoot, what do you say, 100 and, 120 or something. So, that's all I got. It's nothing, uh, nothing earth shattering, but uh, the plants are looking really good. I don't even think there's any need to do my weekly over plant size comparisons because it's hard to get them in frame. Uh, and uh, it just takes up the whole screen. So that's what they look like. In video, it's better this way. And that's all I got for you. If you guys have any uh, questions, comments, a query, or even a concern, go ahead and comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with a friend. Let me know if you uh, have a pumpkin growing, what you think you're going to do this year. Maybe next week, if I remember, we'll do the Guess the Weight competition and we'll, we'll make it interesting. I don't think, I haven't seen a video from Mick. Mick did a, did a competition where if you were within, uh, you know, whoever was closest got like a hundred bucks or something. Maybe we'll do that. That could be kind of fun or, uh, or some product or something. Maybe I can, maybe I can strong arm Ron into, into doing a donation or a different company. I'll have to think about that. I'll work on that. That could be fun. Comment below with what you'd like to see as far as a giveaway or a, or a contest or something fun like that. Give me some ideas what we can do to, to jazz things up and uh, make it a little more fun. Put some skin in the game. 
as they say. So that's it, everybody. Hopefully you had a swell week. It's been pretty okay here. Can't complain, even if I do. Nobody cares. That's all I got for you. Have a good one. See you next week. Get outside, grow yourself a pumpkin that's underneath that stool right there. See ya.